Wayne Taylor Racing, Konica Minolta Racing, Fernando Alonso, Jordan Taylor, Ring of Andersana, and Kamui Kobayashi have won the Rolex 24 at Daytona. Cooper Webb wins the 2019 Monster Energy AMA Supercross World Championship. For the third year in a row, Eli Tomac is a Lucas Oil Pro Motocross 450 champion. And the champion is Acura Team Penske. Dane Cameron won Pablo Montoya. Joseph Newgarden is the 2019 champion. Oh, I'm so happy. I was crying that whole lap. So I'm, <laughs> boy, I'm so glad this is over. A look at this year's champions from beyond NASCAR, many of whom drive for Team Penske. And if you think Roger Penske had a big year, think of Simon Pagano. He capped off 2019 by getting married. His dog Norman was the ring bearer. Four months earlier, he scored the biggest wins of his life. Simon Pagano, he's got a shot at the win. Oh, and Dixon, he a runs little wide. wide there. Pagano oh, on the outside. Oh. He got him, unbelievable. And Simon Pagano wins in the most phenomenal style. <laughs> This will be the first time for the month, but do it again later. Simon Pagano, does he go to the top? Yes, he does. The final run of the weekend underway. It's close, it's really close, but Simon Pagano wins pole for the Indy 500. This is the biggest race in the world, so obviously uh, whew, I'm on cloud nine. Is it going to be Rossi? Is it going to be Pagano? Two laps to go in the 103rd running of the Indianapolis 500. Simon Pagano takes the lead. Clear, clear. Down the back stretch for the final time. Simon Pagano sweeps the month of May and wins. He's made an Indy 500. Guys, that, we just won the Indy 500. Woo! You know where Victory Circle is here. You've already been there. I told you you'd get there twice. The month of May was magical for Simon Pagano, and a lot of the year, Parker, was magical for Team Penske. Oh, my God, yes. I mean, <laughs> find me another organization in the world that in, competes in so many different disciplines and then yet finds themselves so successful. I mean, they in won everything. championships across the world, winning races across the world. Globally, they have to be the mark right now for motorsports to say, if you want to compete in any high-level motorsport, you're going to have to go through Team Penske. I mean, look at these results. From Australia to the Indianapolis 500 to IMSA and competing in NASCAR, I mean, it's just incredible what this organization has done in 2019, led by the captain. And you have to think a lot of this is just his ethos, the things mm -hmm. he puts into his race team. I mean, and look at all these. The, yeah, I mean, I love that shot. It's always a very intimidating shot. But I, it's just basically what he instills in these race teams, in the people that work with him, to know that this is how successful we ha have been and how successful we can be. Okay, steering it to NASCAR, yep. what does t uh, 2020 hold? for the Penske organization? Well, I think we saw, you know, a lot of promise out of this organization, barring just a couple little different things happening, and this organization finds himself fighting for a Cup Series championship with either Brad Keselowski, Joe Logano, or Ryan Blaney. All three of them performed, especially in the playoffs. You know, I think that's why, for this race team, you know, NASCAR has always been one of the toughest rounds for them, but in the least recent years, they've become very successful at it, and I think this year was a year that, Barring just simple, different little things, they would have found themselves fighting for a championship. And it really comes down to, for the 22, you look at that Phoenix race and think, that one run, if something just goes a little bit different, whatever that oddity was that took him from being a fast car to going a lap down, if that run is just any bit different, he probably can be fighting his way into the playoffs there against Kyle Busch or Denny Hamlin, and he just did not have the car or something went amiss, and that took them out of that chance.